you what's up babies it's summer time so it's time for summer it's time for the lovely crop tops know how much i love summer because i don't have to wear tons to go out and you know how much i love crop tops because it feels like you're wearing nothing but you're not you have something to cover you today i'm going to do a workout for these lovely crop tanks it's all about arms and abs but before going to the workout, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and also if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment box below so that I can chat them and I can reply them and I can get more inspiration and ideas to what to do I know you can do it Let's get started! After warm up, we start our workout with an ab superset. I know many people like to put the ab exercise at the end of the workout, but doing it in the beginning actually helps you to apply more forces to other exercise. We are doing 15 reps of ball knee tuck. This is a really great exercise for your entire ab and also your upper back. Try to tuck in your knees as much as possible. Keep your shoulders and core engaged all the time. After 15 reps, we are doing ball plank for 15 seconds. Instead of planking on the floor, you plank on the ball. Planking on an unstable object helps to recruit more stabilization muscles. Remember to keep your body as a straight line. We are doing this superset for four times. So you've got a strong core. Let's do some shoulders. This is a superset again. We are doing shoulder press for 10 reps first. Make sure to keep your elbows slightly in front of you in order to protect them. You are working the anterior deltoid, meaning your front shoulder. After that, we are doing upright row for 10 reps using the same dumbbell you are holding. Make sure to use your elbow to initiate the movement. Your elbow should be higher than your wrists. We are doing this superset for three times. The third superset we are going to do focus more on your posterior side. We are doing 10 reps of dumbbell fly first. This movement hits your rear delt, meaning your back side of your shoulders. Sit on a bench, lean forward, and remember to keep your elbows slightly bent. After that, we are doing 10 reps of dumbbell tricep kickback. Make sure to keep your shoulders and elbows stable. You are only moving your forearms. You feel more contraction on your triceps. Again, we are doing this superset for three times. Moving on, we are going to the cable machine. We are doing 10 reps of straight arm lat pull down first. Although this is a straight arm movement, I would like to keep my elbows slightly bent in order to protect the joints. And I'm using the rope attachment. The good thing about it is I will pull the rope apart at the end of the movement so I can hit not only my lat but also my triceps. Yay! Two things in one movement. Make sure to keep your knees and torso bent. Keep your core tight. After that, we are doing 10 reps of face pull. I love this movement so much. You pull the cable right in front of your face. Lean back a little bit. Initiate the movement with your elbows and contract your shoulder blades at the end of the movement. It's all about back in this superset. As I've mentioned before in my previous video, if you haven't watched that, Having a strong back make your waist look smaller. So work it out girls. Again, we are doing this superset for three times. Finally, this is a burnout exercise, meaning you stop only until you feel very tired. We're doing a back extension with arm movement. Again, I don't really know what the name is, so I'm just making it up. Starting off with a pronation position, meaning lie down on your stomach. Grab a weight and move your arms like you're swimming. Look at my face. My whole upper body are demolished. And you're demolishing your upper body for three times. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.